Good morning and welcome to Arkansas Children's Hospital. My name is David Berry. I'm the hospital senior vice president and chief operating officer. Uh, and it's my privilege to really welcome you today and thank you uh, for being here as we uh, launch an exciting virtual adventure for our patients and their families. None of these exciting changes happen without very special friends, and we're delighted today to acknowledge some, uh, some new special friends with us. Uh, philanthropist Ed Wilson and Leslie Wilson, they're here in the back. If you'd wave at folks, I see you. Ed and Leslie, we're so grateful for your support, and we're glad that you're here with us today to help us to launch this exciting new amenity at Arkansas Children's Hospital for our patients and families to enjoy. Uh, to enjoy. Thank you so much for all that you've done for us. We're also joined today by uh, our good friends at the Ronald McDonald House. Uh, Ronald, McDonald's ha Ronald McDonald House Charities of Arkansas make such a difference uh, in the lives of our patients and families uh, through their care that they provide. And they'll be joining Arkansas Children's Hospital and offer offering the new San Diego Zoo Kids TV channel to our families in their facility as well. Uh, Executive Director Katie Kirkpatrick uh, Show is with us uh, here and she'll be saying a few words in a few minutes. Also this morning, we've got uh, some distinguished guests from uh, two, uh, what we think of as just super zoos, uh, our local Little Rock Zoo, and we're grateful to have Little Rock Zoo Director Mike Blakely. Where's Mike? Thanks. There he is. Thanks for being here. And Susan Arturi, uh, the Assistant Director uh, of the Little Rock Zoo is here with us, and you'll hear from her in a few minutes. We're also excited to have Safari Explorer, isn't that a cool title? Safari Explorer, I'd like that title. Uh, Safari Explorer Lauren Ayers uh, from the San Diego Zoo, uh, along with other members of the San Diego Zoo team that are here to help launch this uh, new channel. And uh, she'll be here a little bit later, Lauren will be here a little bit later to introduce uh, some special guests of her own. Arkansas Children's Hospital is committed uh, to championing children by making them better today and healthier tomorrow. And the San Diego Zoo Kids TV channel is an outstanding example of friends joining together and joining with us in our mission to help make uh, children better today and healthier tomorrow. We really value uh, opportunities such as, such as the one we're celebrating today, a chance to collaborate with uh, like-minded organizations uh, that value kids and value families. They value uh, the beauty of nature and what it brings and the excitement that animals bring uh, to the lives of us all. Uh, I have one other special guest that went on the program, uh, Dr. Abby Nolter, where'd Abby go? Oh, she was here, to oh, there she is in the back. Um, <clears throat> the, the personal physician of Mikey the Chimp over at the Little Rock Zoo. Uh, for those of you that may have missed the news story, uh, Dr. Nolter was uh, instrumental in removing a rather large golf ball size uh, uh, cyst from Mikey the Chimp's nasal passage. And uh, I had, uh, had a good report today that Mikey is doing well and recovering and uh, is back to his usual uh, self, uh, thanks to the work that you and your team brought to them. So thanks for that uh, as well. When we think about Arkansas Children's Hospital's plan to better uh, the lives of children in Arkansas through a statewide network of care, it's important to remember that care begins by creating a nurturing environment. Uh, one that hopefully helps our patients and, and their families forget, even for a few, few brief moments, about their illness and injuries and just remember what it's like to be a kid, just to remember the simple pleasures of being a kid. Ron McDonald House Charities of Arkansas provides that same type of comfort and support and distraction, a real home away from home to our patients and families that are traveling from outside the city. And both the Little Rock Zoo and the San Diego Zoo are committed to caring for, caring for and saving endangered species uh, by uniting their expertise in animal care and conservation science. The common thread, if you're wondering how those are all tied together, is around saving, healing, caring, and nurturing. And that common thread is very clear if you think about the work that we do. And Arkansas Children's Hospital couldn't be more pleased to be working with both of these organizations to further enhance the healing environment for our patients with the addition of the San Diego Zoo Kids uh, TV channel to our patient bedside education and entertainment system. It really only takes one encounter with one of our pet therapy animals to believe and to understand and to see for yourself the incredible impact that animals have on patients and their experience here at Arkansas Children's Hospital. It's very powerful medicine that not another single human can deliver in a way that these pets can. And animals have that effect on so many people. 
And while we're not bringing the Little Rock Zoo or the San Diego Zoo into our walls today, except perhaps with the help of Lauren and some of her friends in just a few minutes, uh, and from our friends from Little Rock Zoo, we're doing the next best thing. We're creating a connection, a virtual way that connects our patients with those animals uh, who perhaps can't leave their bed and connects them with this virtual world to animals and zoos. What happens when kids can do that is they're able to be distracted. They're able to relax. They're able to sleep. And most importantly, they're able to heal. Much of what happens in our hospital is that rest and that recuperation. And it requires a certain environment to do that. And that relaxation, that sleep is really important. And oftentimes that's when healing begins. And that's what we really wish for all of our patients is to make them better today and healthier tomorrow so that they can return home to live normal, healthy, happy lives. Now let me direct uh, your attention to the monitor to my left and let's take a close-up look at San Diego Sioux Kids. Over a hundred years ago, San Diego Zoo was founded to benefit the children of San Diego. And now, thanks to the generous support of Denny Sanford, San Diego Zoo kids will benefit children around the world. Oh, leap the lemurs. Hey kids, we're at the Spineless Marvels Insect House at the San Diego Zoo, and I am so excited because today we're going to talk about walking sticks. In this episode, we'll be traveling to the land down under. Any ideas what this might be? It's an atlas beetle. Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy. I'm a reptile keeper here at the San Diego Zoo. And every day I get to work with awesome animals such as lizards, snakes, turtles, and frogs. And now we're here at Arkansas Children's Hospital in Little Rock, the only children's hospital in the state of Arkansas, and our largest children's hospital to date, with 370 beds on a 29 city block campus and over 14,000 inpatient visits a year. And since many of you can't visit the zoo, we decided to bring the zoo to you. of San Diego Zoo Kids channel. Pretty interesting watching the channels. Do you have a favorite show that you've seen so far? Cheetahs. You like the cheetahs? They're pretty cool, huh? right across the street we're at Ronald McDonald House of Arkansas, a home away from home for more than 800 families a year. San Diego Zoo kids, what kind of show would you put on there? What kind of animals? Like the pandas probably like playing around and climbing the trees. 
San Diego Zoo Kids is honored to partner with Ronald McDonald House of Arkansas and Arkansas Children's Hospital in making kids better today and healthier tomorrow. I hope that teased it, especially to our patients, and that they're going to go back upstairs and watch it in a few minutes. I, did you see your favorite animal? I certainly saw mine right at the beginning, the penguin. I mean, after all, who doesn't, uh, who doesn't really like a guy that gets up every day and dresses for work, right? <laughs> Shows up in his, in his Sunday best every day. We're proud to bring at least virtually these animals to the bedside, and I know our friends down the street at Ronald McDonald House Charities of Arkansas share in our excitement. And now, uh, please welcome... Uh, Katie Kirkpatrick Cho, the Executive Director of Ronald McDonald House of Charities of Arkansas. Thank you, David. Um, the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Arkansas is so honored to be a part of this collaboration. For over 35 years, we have partnered with this wonderful institution, Arkansas Children's Hospital, in providing care, support, and comfort to families with seriously ill children. In that 35 years, we've served more than 30,000 families. Just imagine that you're one of those 30,000. 30, you have a critically ill child. You live over 45 minutes away. You're not working because you want to be at your child's bedside, and you have mounting medical bills. Furthermore, you need a place to stay. That's where the Ronald McDonald House comes in. We offer families a place to sleep, food to eat, and some of the comforts of home. The San Diego Zoo Kids Channel helps our efforts to this end. Now, because of this quality programming, we can provide patients and their brothers and sisters um, a time where kids can just be kids for a little while. They can come back to the home away from home, the Ronald McDonald House, and for a little while, not focus on being sick. They can get a snack, they can sit on the couch, and instead, they can fo focus on the cute, fuzzy animals. We are so, so proud and so honored to welcome the San Diego Zoo into our house. I was pleased uh, to see the video and see all the animals that our kids are going to get to enjoy. Um, these animals kind of remind me of what, what we've got going on in the Ronald McDonald House. It's loud, it's rambunctious, and it's fun. Um, they, the animals and our children have big attitudes, big dreams, and they have big hearts to go along with them. So I'm proud and thankful that y'all are supporting our kids their dreams and their hearts. I want to thank everyone who made this day possible. Leslie and Ed Wilson, um, y'all are greater than you know to us. We're, we're so, so thankful for you. Um, Mr. Denny Sanford, Arkansas Children's Hospital, the San Diego Zoo, and the Little Rock Zoo. Um, we, the staff, um, the people at the Ronald McDonald House, and especially the kids, are just thrilled to have been included. Now, I am pleased to introduce Ms. Susan Altrui. She is the Little Rock Zoo's Assistant Director, and she's gonna speak for a little while. Thank you, Katie. Almost 90 years ago, the Little Rock Zoo started with just two animals, a timber wolf and a circus-trained bear. And we brought wildlife to the people of our state. And over the years, it has morphed into a facility with more than 200 species, many of which are endangered. And we now serve more than 370,000 people a year with people who attend our zoo and through our education outreach programs. The zoo has been dedicated to children and to families throughout its history and has a very special relationship with Children's Hospital. Now with the help of visionary donors, Denny Sanford and Ed and Leslie Wilson, we're able to bring content from the Little Rock Zoo not only to children of Arkansas, but to the children of the nation at a time when they need it the most. One of the stories of the San Diego Zoo kids is highlighting is Mikey the Chimpanzee's saga. Mikey was walking around the exhibit of the Little Rock Zoo with his hand on his head, kind of like this. It was almost as if he had a headache. So our zoo veterinarian, who is actually here today, this is Dr. Sarah Klein. Wave your hand for us, Dr. Klein. Thank you, Dr. Klein, for all of your help with our animals. So she wanted to investigate this just a little bit further, and she found out uh, that he had a little bit of a problem. He had about a golf ball-sized uh, uh, problem that was inside of his nose, and it was a polyp. 
and with the help of Dr. Abby Nolder, uh, we decided that we were going to help with this, with this problem and got Children's Hospital to help us remove this polyp. Uh, it was a wonderful thing for Mikey the Chimp, and uh, I'm proud to say that Mikey is doing much better, and he's been fully recovered and doing great because of the help of Children's Hospital. San Diego Zoo Kids is also highlighting the great work of our zoo staff to conserve and to protect endangered species, including the African penguin. The zoo has had five African penguin chicks born right here at the Little Rock Zoo, and one of those animal ambassadors is actually here with us today, and you're going to get to see Kai as part of this special visit. Our education outreach program makes trips to Children's Hospital to visit with patients as part of this important partnership. San Diego Zoo Kids takes a broad array of animal stories from our facility and our sister zoos and shares it with children in hospitals and the Ronald McDonald House commercial free 24 hours a day around the country. The significance of this cannot be stressed enough. Animals touch our souls and they capture our interest in a very, very special way. Nature also has the power to restore and to heal. And the more of nature that we can give to our children and to those around us, the more that we can hope for renewed strength and for hope and for power. Not only do we have real scientific results that confirm this program really does help children, but we have testimony from many parents that have provided us with the most powerful affirmation about the importance of this channel and about this network. On behalf of our team, I want to thank you for inviting us to your homes, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce the San Diego Zoo Kids host, Lauren Ayers, who is also an honorary zookeeper at the Little Rock Zoo now. Thank you, Susan. San Diego Zoo Kids is absolutely honored to be partnering with Little Rock Zoo, Arkansas Children's Hospital, and Ronald McDonald House of Arkansas, and that's all brought to us thank you to our donors. Uh, what Susan was saying about our animals having an impact on children and bringing them something that no one else can is extremely important. And one thing I want to say about that is we need to make sure that we're connecting those kids to wildlife and preserving that wildlife for years to come. In this room we might have scientists and researchers, conservationists, veterinarians, and of course probably some zookeepers. And we want to make sure that by connecting these kids to wildlife, they're also caring about our natural world. Uh, and of course, being here in a children's hospital, we are helping them through their treatments. And we're achieving this common goal through San Diego Zoo Kids Network. Uh, and we can't do it alone. Uh, of course, we've got all of these wonderful people up here and everyone at the Little Rock Zoo and all the staff here at the Children's Hospital. And like I said, we can't do it alone. It's a big partnership. Um, with zoos, we are one big network of conservation organizations. And we're not just bringing them from the San Diego Zoo. Our stories are coming to the network. We're going all across the country and partnering with other zoos to share their stories as well and successes of animals, medical stories, as well as conservation stories. Uh, and again, partnering with the hospitals and Ronald McDonald houses across the country, we're helping with the healing process of the children that are going through treatments, as well as entertaining the families and the siblings of those that are undergoing the treatments. Uh, I know this as a personal experience, the healing power that animals can have on a child at a children's hospital. About five years ago, my younger sister, uh, who was 10 years old at the time, was diagnosed with a life-threatening illness and admitted to a children's hospital. I flew across the country and spent five months in the Ronald McDonald House in that area, as well as staying in the rooms with her in the ICU. And as you all in front of me know, spending time in the hospital can be tedious, it can be boring, and it can be scary waiting for test results. There's only so many cooking shows you can watch. And at the time, we didn't have San Diego Zoo Kids. So something that my sister and I connected on as me being a zookeeper at the time was just telling her stories and getting her mind off of all the fear and the worry that's there. And there would have been a great place in our, in our room for the San Diego, Zoo, San Diego Zoo Kids Network. Uh, by sharing these animal stories, we were able to connect on a completely different level than we were before. When she was discharged, 
the first place she wanted to go was the local aquarium. And upon arriving there, pushing this little girl in a wheelchair, we saw an immediate alleviation in her worry and her stress. And for just a few hours, it was as if she wasn't sick. We were just a normal family visiting the aquarium. And that was just once. With San Diego Zoo Kids Network, we can actually bring that experience and those moments to families every single day. And we're so excited to be able to share that. To wrap up my story, my sister is doing absolutely wonderful. We underwent a kidney transplant together in 2011, and she is a happy, healthy little girl. Thank you guys. And, and now, actually today, we're not just gonna have the animals on TV here at the hospital, we're actually gonna bring them out and see them in real life. So we're gonna push this podium out of the way and then we're gonna get started with our amazing little rock zookeepers and the animal friends that they brought today.